There's been a major improvement in public safety communication in a local town. The improvements were spurred in part by communication problems during a mall shooting. Ralph Iannotti is live with what's changed in Monroeville. Ralph. Yeah, thanks very much, Ken. An up-to-date and modern police ditch dispatch and communication center is in operation here tonight. And for local residents, one of the best parts, uh, the system was implemented without having to raise taxes. 10 for. Monroeville officials believe a new police dispatch radio communication system will help not only police, firefighters, and EMS personnel, but the system will benefit everyone in the community because the new technology, including four transmission sites and new portable radios, puts all first responders on the same frequency. It gave us better coverage throughout the community at all the locations, uh, both inside the, our shopping districts as well as uh, our buildings uh, and certainly out on the, on the roads. In 2015, three people were hospitalized, including two innocent bystanders standards when a teenager opened fire inside Monroeville Mall. Panic shoppers went running for safety. The incident underscored on again off again radio problems with Monroeville police and other first responders as well as emergency responders from other communities trying to communicate with one another because they were on different frequencies. They were frustrating radio communication dropouts as well. The problem was recognized that just amplified it and uh, told us Look, we have to start doing something. We can't be waiting around. Monroeville Police. Ron Harvey is a council member and retired Monroeville police officer. He points out the new nearly one and a half million dollar dispatch center was implemented without having to raise taxes. We had got a return on an unexpected investment. Uh, there was a sale of a shopping center that we got a 1% return tax on that. It's expected the new police communication system will last at least two decades. The police chief says the former communication system was good but it proved it wasn't good enough. I mean, we were doing okay with the other one, but it had been its useful life. Its useful life was well over 20 years old. Our goal was to try to get to a system as quick as we could, but obviously as economically feasible for the taxpayers. And some other funding for the new police dispatch center came from uh, grants uh, from the state and money uh, from police asset seizures. We're live in Monroeville tonight. Ralph Iannotti, KDKA News.